There are so many good trends out there for spring and summer 2024, but there may be a few that you might want to think a little bit more about before you purchase. And some of these, if you already have them and they're in your closet, pull them out. But these are things that I think are probably going to just fizzle out or they're just not the best looking things out there and there are some better options. So I'll talk about things that I think you should avoid and then I'll tell you the things that I think would be better options for them. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is all in good fun and if there is something that you are avoiding this season, please let me know in the comments below. And if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So I want to talk about baggy loose jeans because I am seeing a lot of the low rise baggy styles that they had back in the year 2000 or 1990s. I specifically remember them and I probably even wore them. But this is a big trend right now and I'm not sure what age groups or who all is wearing them but I think maybe some of the younger girls are probably wearing these but if you're 40 and over this is probably something that you are already avoiding or you may want to avoid and if you want to do the loose styles go for something that's maybe a mid-rise or a higher rise and then something that has a minimal loose leg to it so maybe a slender wide leg or a slender cropped wide leg which I just um, created a styling video on that if you want to check it out but I think there are some good options out there for that loose silhouette or maybe even just a straight leg that is a 90 straight that's a little bit looser and that would give you that trend and I think these styles will last a whole lot longer than that really loose baggy style trend. And speaking of baggy loose style jeans, I want to talk about the barrel leg jeans because there are a lot of people that like these. And I actually just had a conversation with the group leader of my Bible study that she was trying a pair of barrel jeans and just couldn't do it because of her height. And I get it. I have tried these styles on and they are just too baggy through the like middle of the leg so they create this weird shape in your leg if you don't find the right pair because i don't think all barrel leg jeans are created equal so the ones i think you should stay away from are the ones that kind of balloon out and make your legs look pretty massive and this is not flattering i don't think on anyone whether you're tall or short but there are some cute styles that you can find that might be a little bit more minimal and just have a taper to them but don't have that balloon style in the middle and some of these are still considered balloon leg they're just a little bit better than some of the other styles you might see some of them look crooked and they're just weird they have weird pleats in them and I just don't think these are a good option and I don't think they're going to last very long so you do you I am talking about these styles and they may be something that looks really good on you and if they do then stick with it and if you love them and you're comfortable in them stick with it but I do think for the majority that this style is probably not the best and there are some better options out there for you so when I mention this next one and the one after it, you're going to see a theme here, which is all about your loose fitting clothing. So your oversized blazers are definitely on their way out. Now they are not completely out of style. People are still wearing them, but we are styling them more so to where they look just a little bit more relaxed as opposed to really oversized dad blazers. And I have an oversized blazer that I'll probably still wear, but the things that I have added for this season are more of your classic fitting blazers. The ones that are easy to put on with lots of different things. And there are also really good styles in the cinched waist blazers. So you can find peplum shapes, you can find tie waists that I have just seen a ton of already coming out that are very, very flattering on a lot of body shapes. And I think you can wear these casually or dress them up and you can find them in all different kinds of materials. So this is definitely a good one to add better than that oversized. So if you never did the oversized because you didn't like it, maybe there will be something this season that you will like that you can add to your wardrobe. And I think the ones that we're seeing now are a little bit more wearable than that oversized fit. So I think I probably talked about this trend in my last year's what not to wear video for spring and summer. And that is to stay away from those baby doll dress styles. And I'm sorry if you love these and wear them because they are so comfortable. These loose fitting dresses that have no shape to them are just 
very unflattering and they're also very out of style because the dress trend is also going along with everything else where it's starting to fit the body shape well so the ones that have a cinch waist to them and they could even have an a-line or a pencil skirt that works depending on your body shape but a lot of the more fitted dresses the ones that have ruching on them through the center that are still a bodycon but actually are very flattering because they have all that ruching and then your tie waist or belted dresses you have some really fun shirt dresses even the ones that are really straight down you can do a lot with them which i am going to do a video on how to style a shirt dress and the one i have is a little bit oversized but it doesn't even compare to the baby doll and what the baby doll does to somebody's body <laughs> when you're looking at them so again i'm sorry if you love that style but i just don't think it's the best shape for people and i do think that there are better options out there that can flatter your figure no matter what shape you are there is a jumpsuit that i have wanted to mention in my videos recently and actually i wanted to mention it last year and i didn't so i want to mention it now and it's this really loose in the body jumpsuit that tapers in the leg and a lot of people fell in love with this jumpsuit this is actually a bestseller on amazon and i think it is because free people came out with a jumpsuit like this and everybody fell in love with it for some reason, I don't understand why, because it might be comfortable, but it's really unflattering in most of the areas of your body. And so I do think there are other options. And I'm sorry if you have this jumpsuit and you love it. Um, please don't be mad at me. I just don't think it's flattering. There are a lot of really good jumpsuits out there and jumpsuits are on trend this season. I talked about that in my last video. And one in particular is a denim jumpsuit. And some people don't like the denim jumpsuits and that's okay. But if you do, there are going to be a ton of options for you. And I chose this one from Loft. So those of you that saw my Loft haul, this jumpsuit, I put it in a photo and I got an extra small regular and it was way too long. So the girl at the store convinced me to order, she ordered it for me and had it shipped to me, the small and a petite, and it actually worked out really perfectly. The length is usually not that good in the petites and it worked well in the jumpsuit. So I just wanted you to know that. There are a lot of great jumpsuits out there that you can find that are all different options, sleeveless, long sleeve, and belted not belted and i just think this is a really really fun option and check out my video to see some of the options that i had in there for my last trends video but there are other options too and some sporty looking jumpsuits wide leg jumpsuits i just think that there are a lot of good options if you want comfy but you also want cute Okay, now we are moving on to shoes. We won't talk about loose fitting clothing anymore. I think I'm done with that category and you kind of get my point there. But the shoes, you will be glad to hear this, but platforms are just not the thing anymore. So it used to be your massive platforms that you would see in sandals that people were pushing. I remember getting mine from Target, I think last year, maybe even the year before, I think it was the year before. And so these are definitely going out. Now, I think the platform, the short platform sneakers, and maybe even a little bit of, you know, platforms on the front of some sandals, but not your gigantic ones. So we're going to talk about gigantic ones and the better options for those type of shoes are going to be new styles like your slingbacks that have a pointed toe and they have a smaller heel to them. They, they might be flat, they might have a square heel, they might have a one inch, a two inch heel, but I think these are an ongoing trend right now. I think they are just going to keep going and I think they have gotten really big in Europe and now they're becoming really big in the US. And you also have your Mary Jane styles that are a lot of fun that you could do. And some of these have a nice little heel on them if you want to do that, or you can find some that are flat. And then of course you have your kitten heels, which are becoming very big, which is the exact opposite of a platform. So a lot of the shoes are becoming a little bit more feminine, a little bit more dainty. And so, you know, the clothing is going to move in that direction as well. So a lot of times we see these things come together if you've not paid attention to that. And that is what's going to happen. So I have wanted to talk about this trend in one of my trends videos for about a year now, but just haven't found the right time. And I think now is the right time because I'm starting to see more and more advertising of this. And that is wearing dresses over pants. And I just do not think that this is something that works. 
The only time it works is if you have a shirt dress that you can make work as something that is like an overpinning or something that is like a cardigan or a longer jacket because that can be done and it looks really cute but if you're just taking a standard dress that's an a-line dress and throwing it over your pants it's really weird to me so this is a trend that i don't think you should do plus it's not going to stay in style for very long and it just doesn't make sense to me and you know I might turn around and decide later on that, hey, this is kind of cute because I find something that works. But in my mind right now, it just doesn't work. Anyway, let me know what you think of this trend in the comments below. So now I want to talk about skirts. And the one skirt that I think is probably a bad purchase for you and something you should avoid is a sheer skirt. Now that sheer translucent trend has been on trend for the past couple years and the way that it's worn on the runway shows is not practical for everyday life for us and I don't think a sheer skirt is either. Even though you can find some that may have a half slip on the upper part of your body but a lot of them they're showing with just underwear underneath and you have the sheer skirt and this is not something that I recommend you doing and I don't think it's going to stay in style. But there are so many good options out there that you could do in skirts. Like your pencil skirts, if you're a working girl and, and want something a little more serious, you could do a pencil skirt. They have midi skirts that are actually athletic skirts that are a lot of fun and different materials if you are more of a casual girl. And then you have your lace skirts that are becoming really big that I think are a better option than your translucent, which they have a translucentness to them, but they're not really translucent. They just have a unique look. But you also have your big circle skirts that are fun. So if you like bigger skirts, then this would be the year to do it because they are on trend. And then your pleated skirts, whether you want longer or short, are still something that's good to wear. And they're prettier pleated skirts than some of the bigger pleated skirts that we have seen in the past and then you have your regular a-line skirts which is a circle skirt is an a-line skirt too but you have some that are less full and then your mini skirts if you are a girl that loves a good mini there are some really good minis out there and i think all of these are better options than buying a sheer skirt that is definitely going to go out of style and all the ones that i have mentioned here they they rotate in and out of style a lot more than your sheer skirts do so I think they would be a better option. So now I want to talk about cropped baby doll tops. I talked about the baby doll style dresses and now I am seeing a ton of the cropped baby doll tops. And I was a little surprised by this because the clothing is getting a little bit more fitted. And this is not something that I remember seeing every season and I've seen a lot. So, and they're not very cute. And if you are shorter, this is not something that looks good on you because it just makes the upper body look a little bit more squatty. So it, it brings your waistline up and puts it in a weird spot and they just are not flattering tops. Now what is flattering that is a big trend in 2024 is a peplum top. And the peplum styles, you can find them in jackets too now, but this is part of that trend where things are becoming a little bit more fitted and a little bit more flattering. And I think the peplums are very feminine and the ones that are coming out this season are a lot better than they've been in the past because they are a little bit longer. So they'll elongate your waistline, give you a really nice shape and then come out just right at the hip line. So you don't wanna go over your hips, but right at your hip bone if it lands there it just looks really really good and if you're long waisted it might take you a minute to find one but i do think there are still options out there for you because you're finding some that even have a smocked waistline and then have a little peplum that comes out and those seem to be a little bit more elongated so there are lots of good options in this category and i do think it's a better option than going with that really cropped loose baby doll top so I don't know if you've noticed this trend, but I noticed it last year and then it started to pick up some steam that I've seen this year and that's wearing double waistbands or wearing your pants a little bit lower to show the edge of your undergarments. And I'm just not sure that that's the way to go on a trend and I don't know if this trend is going to last very long. And most of this trend I have seen in sportswear or more utilitarian looks like with your parachute pants or cargo pants or jeans 
And so I just suggest wearing them by themselves because I do think the parachute pant trend is fun. Although I did this years and years ago, the styles that I've seen this season are actually pretty cute. So if you want to add a fun trend and just have a really unique look, then you can find a great pair of parachute pants that would do that for you. Or just a pair of cargo pants because that utilitarian trend, all the pockets is really big and you can find all different styles in this type of pant that can be a lot of fun depending on what look you're going for and there are a lot of options in more of your sporty athleisure look that I think would be a good option and it will last a little bit longer than your double waistband trend. And again, I would love to know which trend you are going to avoid this season and leave it in the comments below, especially if it's something I did not mention in this video. I would love to know what it is. And also this is all in good fun. It is my opinion. And if your opinion is different than mine, that is absolutely okay. And leave that in the comments below as well. So thank you again for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing, especially if you have not subscribed yet and you continue to watch my videos. So anyway, have a good day and I will talk to you next time.